Watch you guys got another video on how to extend Windows 10 support after you do a clean install of Windows 10. It's not uncommon that people want to reinstall their operating system. One of the big problems of an operating system that has already reached end of life is trying to find ISO files, which Microsoft sometimes remove from their websites. It's still there at the moment. You can use the media creation tool to download the Windows 10 ISO. The other problem that some people said they've had is after they've done a clean install, they're not getting the enroll button back uh, to enroll into the Microsoft Extended Security Updates, ESU program for short. The first thing you need to do is do a clean install like I've done right here. I'm just getting all of the updates for Windows 10. It's important that you keep your system updated. There may be some old updates that you need to get onto the system first to be able to enroll your PC. But don't worry, I'll show you a full step-to-step -step, uh, guide on how to get the PC back to a state where it's in the ESU program and you're now receiving security updates for at least one more year until October 13th, 2026. So what I've done here is I've done the first initial updates. I'll speed this process up so you don't get too bored. But basically, you're going to need to go through the update process. Now, good practice to do with end-of-life operating systems like Windows 10 is do two things. The first thing is to create a bootable USB flash drive, which I made a video on. It's important because Microsoft will eventually pull the plug on downloading the Windows 10 ISO. That means you will not be able to get a Windows 10 ISO directly from Microsoft anymore. This way you would have at least a copy of Windows 10 on a bootable USB flash drive and that way you can install Windows 10 whenever you need to. The second thing to do is get a nice clean install of Windows 10 with all of the updates installed on that operating system and then create a clone of that actual drive. That way you're going to have all of the updates and the operating system fully updated and enrolled into the extended Windows 10 updates program. And you can then just quickly revert back using your Windows 10 clone drive. That way you don't have to go through all of this palaver that you're doing right here. If your PC is pretty old, you should have copies of all of the latest drivers, the ISO file for your operating system downloaded contained in a folder and store these somewhere safe. I like to have a folder with all of the driver updates, all of the ISO files for Windows 10 or Windows 11, and also the essential software that I use and keep that somewhere safe. That way I can just go ahead and it takes me literally 15 to 20 minutes to get back up and running because I have everything contained in that one folder. So it's important that you toggle on the get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Turn that on because obviously you want to get all of the latest updates. I'm now downloading the very final update here. One more restart and we'll go through the process of enrolling this PC back. Now, one thing to remember is the official support for Windows 10 ended on October 14th, 2025, meaning Microsoft no longer provide security updates, new features, or technical assistance for that operating system. While the operating system will continue to function, it will become increasingly vulnerable to security risks like viruses, malware, and other security holes because the operating system is not getting patched with security patches. That's why it's important to make sure you are using the very latest security updates for Windows 10. And you will have to do this even when this year is ended. If you continue to use this in the future, it's important that you continue to update this operating system when Microsoft do release updates. If you have an extended support for that operating system, i.e. whether it's LTSC or IoT LTSC, or even just the standard Windows 10. Anytime you do a clean install, you are going to need to update all of these updates is important. So now the system is fully updated. You can see the enroll button has not shown itself. And this is common because Microsoft don't care anymore because this operating system has reached end of life. And this could stay like this for another month before you even see it. 
So what you can do is go down to the search box and do CMD and run the command prompt as administrator. And now what we're going to do is use the consumer ESU enrollment uh, command here. This is going to tell Microsoft that you want to enroll and elevate for eligibility to say, yes, I want to enroll in the ESU program. So once you've done that simple command, press enter, and I'll leave that in the video description. And then what you need to do is restart the PC. And when you restart the PC, hopefully the enroll button will show itself and you'll be able to then enroll into the extended support uh, updates program. Now it's important that you do this because otherwise you're not going to continue to receive uh, extended security updates, which are free to receive. If you get any errors when you're running that command, make sure that your operating system is running 22H2. That is the last version of Windows 10 and make sure it is fully updated. You don't need to be activated. You can now see we do have the enroll into the extended security updates program. And all we need to do now is click enroll now. You will need to sign into a Microsoft account to enroll, but it should be free. So let's go ahead and do this right here. Enroll in the extended security updates to stay protected. Now, this means that you can do this after the enrollment date has passed. A thing to remember is you will not get a one year from the date that you sign in. It will be from the end of life date of the operating system. So you're not going to get another year from this date when we enroll into the extended security updates program. No matter what happens, whenever you enroll, the end date is the 13th of October 2026. That is it. So if you enroll a month before the end date, you're only going to get a month of extended security updates. It's that simple. People are talking about another year and another year after that, like Microsoft have done before for business level uh, of extended security updates. Unfortunately, Microsoft have clearly stated that there is only going to be one year and one year only of Windows 10. So that is it. So after this year is finished, according to Microsoft, this is it. Windows 10 will be end of life and you will not get any more extended security updates. Now, of course, things can change. And you can see now the device has been enrolled into the extended security updates program until October 13th, 2026. Once that date ends, that's the end of it. You're not going to get any more security updates. Now, I know there's people online that are going to say the operating system is going to be perfectly fine to use. It's going to be safe to use even after the security updates have ended. That's simply not true. It will deteriorate over the next few months and you will be left vulnerable. So do not use the operating system once security updates completely stop from Microsoft. Now, there's other options out there like Zero Patch that you can use to continue to use Windows 10 and other things like that. But that's already been covered in previous videos. And you can see we have an update coming down now, which is the update, uh, the first update inside the extended security updates program. Now, hopefully this video will help people once they do a clean install or fresh install of Windows 10 and they want to get back up and running in the extended security updates program because I've had a few concerning people email me saying they've done a clean install of Windows 10 and they just simply haven't had the enroll to the extended security updates program again. It's just not coming through. But hopefully this video will help someone out. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.